I don't know how everything's going to look. Let's see. But, uh, I am here to assemble Uncle Dave's cabin, not to really talk to y'all. So the purpose of this video is for video assembly instructions for Uncle Dave's cabin. If you're joining us, uh, good you're here. I am going to point down at the model and so we can get to work. come over here so I can see chat if if it happened Norman, how you doing, man? Oh, I need to. I'm on mobile, so the camera is pointing down at the desk, which means that it's not even really showing me chat. Oh, maybe I need to hit this button. I got in a little alert alert um what I'm doing today is I'm just gonna put this guy together here pretty quick um, for the purposes of video assembly instructions and um, thank you Norman hey Dwight how you doing um, I'm putting this together for uh, the video, the purpose of the video is for video assembly instructions because I'm getting ready to put this on Etsy. Um, I'm also assembling it in HO scale because uh, it, I get better pictures when I do it in HO scale. Uh, you know, it's bigger, so the details are better and I get, um, I'm not a professional photographer, so I tend to get better pictures. So uh, what I'm gonna be doing um, first is I'm gonna I didn't I didn't airbrush these window frames and I'm kicking myself because I didn't um, my airbrush uh, the this bucket wasn't super clean and it was um, spitting on me so I ended up using a brush and I wish I hadn't done that but other than that um, I'm gonna be putting the uh, window panels in the frame then I'll, while that's drying, I'm gonna put the window filaments, the window treatments on the back. And, um, or I might do that different. Um, so yeah, window frames, panels in the frames, the panels and frames will go in the, in the uh, I'll put them in the windows, in the wall and then we'll do the window treatments i guess is my thinking hey joe uh, let me see what grace is fussing about i didn't take that into account So, uh, this model comes in, I don't need, um, I only need eight of these. So, this model would come in, um, one, two, and then you got eight, sixteen, that's eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So like 36 pieces. And so 
so hopefully this will cooperate. And y'all, I can kind of see chat. Hey, John. Hey, Joe. Good to see y'all. I got to put... Uh, my glasses on to see chat and my new glasses don't work well up close so to work on the models I'm taking the glasses off and to read chat I got to put them on so if I miss anything you say or anything I apologize talk amongst yourselves shadow. How can I avoid that shadow? Let's come this way. This way. Let's see if we can avoid some of those shadows. Alright, so. The only thing I'm questioning it right now is my order. I might should have those window treatments drying in there right now, but I feel like I need to do these first. And these just pop right in. In HO scale especially, in scale they work pretty well. Um, they snap in in HO. And in end, sometimes they snap in pretty good too. Z is a little tough. We're just going to give those a few minutes. The uh, red testers glue actually dries a little faster than this, but. Um, I didn't want that thick glue on these windows. I like the thicker glue, assuming they don't to fall apart in two years. Uh, I like the thicker glue on the walls. Alright, so I need to cut... One piece or two. So I need to cut eight window pieces. to happen now is I need to go ahead. No, I don't. It's going to take those a little while to dry, but there's no really, this is going to be the best way to do that. What 
I should have done was, um, excuse me. Yeah, I was wanting to get a little more, um, what are you saying? Let me see. Time for bi bifocals. I guess so. And the thing is, Norman, um, I think I kind of have them, but I think they're not real, real good ones. What I mean is the, um, the cost of them were not huge. I could have got more expensive ones that had a wider bifocal range or whatever. And I didn't understand any of that because I've never had bifocals. But I think these have have a form of, they. these are kind of bifocals, but um, they're not real good ones, I guess. That's the way I could put it. Um, I wanted to get a little more comfortable and familiar with um, going using the phone to go live because I'm going to be doing some work up here in the garage and out front um, for the model railroad and I'm going to be using the phone uh, the phone to be filming more um, to show some of that stuff so I'm trying to get a little more proficient with using and be more comfortable using the phone to go live and stuff. Alright, now we're going to start coming out like crazy. not squeezing at all. This is from the previous squeezes when it was clogged up. This is something I do not like about it. It is still coming out. I'm going to try not to get upset and aggravated. Those fit in there really nice. HO scale has some pluses, John. <laughs> I'm gonna move this so it doesn't stick. I, I make my models in N scale, and then I do scale them up to make a copy for pictures or started to do that. And um, they really fit together well when they're scaled up a little bit. And so what I did this time with this guy is I went ahead and printed everything in in the color that I wanted it for the pictures, which takes a little extra time and, and that kind of stuff, but um, it alleviates the need for me to airbrush since I'm not a professional airbrush artist. brown paint on this window seal. So yeah, I can get it off. But 
I'm thinking that it might make this might make for um, nice photos since I'm not airbrushing it myself. I mean, I'm getting better at airbrushing, but having it in the right color already has to be better. I mean, unless we're looking for a certain look. But this is just going to be for pictures. All right. Now, I'm going to work on um, some other accessories just for a minute while that's drying for a sec. Because I need to flip these over and put the window treatments on, probably. Um, this needs to be worked on. This guy right here goes right here, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, yeah. Nope, hold up. I didn't do that right. Nope, I didn't do that right. What am I thinking? Maybe I have it flipped. I have figured this out before. I do need to wait till I'm getting the roof song to do that. And put this door in though. Let's see if the dust should come back out. And so this is just a little door frame. seats right in there. Hey, Mystic, how's it going, man? All right. Now, let's see if we can accomplish any of these. Um, yeah. All right. Do our window treatments, and then we can get the model assembled. This won't take long. Try not to slide them because they'll uh, leave a streak in the window if I slide it. So I try to just set them down and be done. I dropped one. Now, this is a very uh, easy to assemble model. It does have, uh, you know, um, one odd angle, but that's it that comes in right here. But um, you got piece, I think this is D out here, C, B, this is A, F is right here. And E. I need to move this in here better. 
I didn't realize it was filming. When I started to do the stream, I was playing around and I was going to see if John had time and I clicked that go together live thing. Well, it locked the orientation the other direction and so when I was setting up the... I didn't realize it had done that. And so when I was setting up the, uh, the shot and everything, over here was a better shot. And I guess that was because they had split the screen with John and I. Um, but anyway, he's got plans this afternoon. And we are going to play around with that, though, this coming week and try that out. That's uh, the Go Together Live thing. We want to just see how it works out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this together. I will put a little glue here. Here. And I want to make sure I get these right. And if you are watching and you have purchased this model, make sure you file these edges that they're clean and everything. And as long as you've taken all the flash off in their file, they should corner up real, real nice. If you find that a piece is too large, chances are it needs to have some flash cut off or needs to be filed. go fishing tonight and if we do we could go live from out there and show AJ landing some big old catfish if we start catching them. We have really big bluegill out there too but the catfish are the uh, are even bigger. They really don't fight any harder than the big bluegill because those big bluegill fight. But uh Catfish are much more impressive size wise.
could have glued that on my base, but that's because they got the swivel thing up there. As I mentioned in the beginning, <clears throat> if it doesn't fit good, you need to trim some flash. Now I'm almost thinking this piece could be just a tad too long. And that's one thing that the uh, scaling up will do as well, is when I scale it up, it definitely shows the errors um, better. that mistakes are twice as big and so it could be that I need to reduce the size of this and that but I want to make sure before I do that that I have trimmed all the flash off and I'm cutting in a little more because I'm getting the glue off like this file. Not the one I usually use. Alright, now.
this is actually going to work as it is, but I am going to go make it a half a millimeter shorter. All that that's do all it being a half a millimeter too long is preventing it from doing is sitting all the way in against the seat of the base, which really doesn't hurt anything at all. But since we can fix it, we might as well. I gotta clean the train room and then I'm gonna start going live from down there more with the fiber and everything. Well, we got it up here too, but these corners are all right. But it's a half a millimeter off the base in here, off the, uh, the lip of the base. And so it would just be sturdier and go together cleaner and easier for everybody if I fix that, which I'm gonna do. All right, so this piece goes here. For the record, I don't like putting models together up here at all. I ain't gonna do it anymore. Yeah. Just, I don't have the lighting and stuff set up. I've worked a while on getting it right down there. I should have just cleaned the room and done this later, but I kind of wanted to put this together.
Hey, Stormy. How you doing? Good to see you. Well, I was actually thinking <clears throat> that since I put this one together and in, when I printed this um, HO version, I kind of thought I was set already. I didn't know that I was going to have more adjustments to make. So I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. But, uh, and the reason why is um, my next model I'm, I gotta finish this so I can start the next thing I'm doing which is really cool um, so I'm actually really I guess that's probably why I did this mobile instead of cleaning the train room and all that stuff is I'm trying to get this thing done and um, I don't need to move on until this is done because this will never ever get done if I move on I gotta finish this and I gotta fix it. And, um, it's just not right. I've got. Adjustments that have to be made. I don't think this is flash either and stuff. I think this is a little bit of size issue. So what I'm going to do is, I'm sorry, I keep getting all out of this. So um, I'm not happy with the way this went together. And so I'm going to go make adjustments and reprint. And so I want to thank y'all for joining me today. I appreciate it. It was good to see y'all, y'all. And I wish, um, look for me, um, more this week. And, um, also look for John and I going on with the Go Together Live. And that'll be more of, uh, the way they've got that, that, uh, that set up. Um, that'll be more of us just shooting the breeze and having a good time and talking and stuff. So I get to visit with y'all a little bit more than y'all just sitting here watching me fuss about the model not going together right. But I want to thank y'all for coming to do that. I appreciate it. It's just there's, um, I got at least a piece or two that are too long. And it could be, I mean, it's almost like all of them. Well, at least two, three. I mean, it's like three or four pieces, it looks like to me, um, are not good. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to be taking them down like this. Um, to get some better measurements. Um, I might should have left it up like that now that I think about it. Because <laughs> that's that shows the errors even a little better. A little, they glare out a little. But I need to make adjustments. And I appreciate y'all. I'm going to see y'all soon. Um, I don't even know how to end this thing. Uh, but uh, I am going to be also, like I said, I'm going to be doing some work. Um, um, I'm going to be doing some work uh, out front of the house because I got a bunch of wood that I'm going to be uh, getting together because I'm going to be doing some bench work with some wood that's out in front of the garage. And I picked up some old wood that was on the side of the road. And um, so I'm going to be doing some mobile stuff out there in front of the yard. And once I get the garage cleaned up enough to show y'all where I'm doing this bench work and stuff in there, and um, basically it's like an, the initial stuff's going to be like an entertainment system or center to hold the computer and, and that kind of stuff uh, out there in the garage. And so the thing is, the entertainment center or the part, the, the studio center or whatever, where the cameras and the computer and everything will be in the garage, 
that above that is going to be Winter Park. So it is a beginning to the next layout up there, but that's a long time away. Um, I'll be uh, starting. I got I got all the wood. That, I had an opportunity to get some free wood that was beside the road. I just got to pull the nails out of it and rip it. And it's going to be perfect to do the framing for the bench work for um, the next layout that's going to be coming. Because I am going to be, over the course of the next couple years, it'll probably take two or three years, but I am going to be moving the layout from uh, the train shed down there up into the garage up here. As my daughter gets older, um, she is less interested in playing with the trains as much, though she does like to do it, but um, I want to be closer to her and the things she's interested in doing and be able to get to the train a little easier. And what I found out is that I'm going down to the train room less as she gets older, so I'm going to be with the train room up here. All right, y'all take it easy. I'll see y'all soon. Have a good one. Thank you for coming.